I should have been going swimming today, but I'm not now, so I've got nothing to do all day, apart from pack. So as I said, I didn't have much to vlog about today, so I'm just going to um, give a little tuck on one of my favourite subjects, um, horror movies with evil children, murderous children, creepy children. The first film we're going to talk about is The Child. This film is about Rosalie Norton, or Norton, I can't remember. Um, and she likes to play with zombies, who she sends to kill everyone she blames for her mother's death. So it's quite an interesting film. Um, it's rated 18. The next one was Babysitter Wanted, which plays on the whole the babysitters being stalked by someone. Um, where the babysitter goes to the middle of nowhere, look after this little boy. Um, he won't take off his hat um, and someone's phoning her and harassing her and banging on the doors and trying to get in and you think they're there they're there to she thinks they're there to kill her but turns out that the cute little thing is actually evil I'll not give the whole twist away so that's also an 18 um, then we have something I bought Woolworths for a pound. Just Satan's little helper. And this is just some crazy nonsense. It's actually ended up being one of my favourite films. It features that little boy who was in palindromes and he's incredibly annoying. It's some dude in what is what is like the coolest Halloween mask of all time. And um the plot is the little boy has had a video game called Satan's Little Helper and he's decided for Halloween he's going to dress as the helper character and he wants to find Satan and help him. Anyway, this is actually very good but it's, it's only a 15 but I would say it's still pretty, pretty hardcore. Okay, here's one where nothing really happens, it's just creepy which is godsend. But it's worth watching because De Niro's in it. And um, for Twilight fans, Cameron Bright is the star of this film, so... Uh, this is interesting. Splice was just out recently that was all about messing with genetics. This was about messing with cloning. This kind of sweet young couple has seemed quite nice. Dad's Greg Kinnear and mum's somebody I can't remember. Um, lose their little boy. And they meet a creepy doctor that she used to work with, who's Robert De Niro. And he says, oh, I've developed cloning. I'll make you, bring you your kids back. But um, he splices somebody else's genes in and it all goes terribly wrong. Uh, obviously due to the lack of kind of gore, this is just a 15. Here's one that... Someone might argue with me, wrong genre, wrong genre, I know the twist, wrong genre. She's played by an 11 year old. To me that, that that's enough to keep you in the category. I absolutely love Orphan. I think it's, it's fascinating stuff. Um, very, very cute little girl gets adopted by a couple who've got, they're not showing their kid, they've got two little kids, um, a little boy and a little girl, um, and she's from Russia, I think she's supposed to be, Russian, um, sweet, very sweet, overly sweet, kind of sugary sweet, does little curtsies and wears dresses and she's not quite right, she starts pushing kids off the play park and going men all in trying to have sex with the dad and yeah I'll not say the twist but I think everybody knows what it is now anyway Orphan is only a 15 here I was sort of surprised um, could have been an 18 um, one of my favourite films of all time The Children now this does say 18 it was a 15 in the cinema there they are in that doll's eye um, and this is just for me, you know, 
It was just something that I found in this film that a lot of people don't find. I think um, maybe you have to be British and maybe you have to know those types of people that raise their children with a gold star chart and how irritating they are. They basically let their kids run around wild. There's times in this movie, like, when Jonah dies, you're just like, I don't care. He's horrible. Uh, Nightmare on a Damaged Brain was apparently banned over here. A lot of people put this high on lists of most disturbing films you'll ever see. I'm not sure why it belongs on those lists. Although the back cover does try and imply it's a lot more bloody and revolting than it seems. Some of those pictures on the back cover I don't even recall the scenes in the movie, which makes me wonder. But it does feature two children killing. Uh, The main guy, George, kills his parents in a flashback. And little annoying brat CJ spends the whole movie pretending to kill people. Eventually does murder someone who turns out to be his father. Poor CJ. And we move on to Phone. Which is a terrible movie about a possessed mobile phone. And if you've ever heard Russell Brand's rant about possessed phones in Forgetting Sarah Marshall, that's pretty much how I feel about the possessed phone movies. And there seems to be more and more of them constantly. But Phone, here she is. She's supposed to be about three years old. She gets possessed by the girl who her father was having an affair with. And as a result, decides that, well, as a result, starts drawing sexually explicit pictures and trying to come on to her father and keeps trying to kill her mother and she stands at the top of the stairs in this brilliant scene where she teeters and goes which of you bitches wants to die for me and then throws herself down the stairs so it's not a fantastic film overall but it's great for her a little bit and it's a 15 which I think is quite fitting considering it wasn't that special obviously it's in um, Korean, you get English subtitles. I'm not sure if they've remade Phone. Oh no, no, they're, they're, they're remaking it right now. This is The Dark with the um, beautiful Abigail Stone on the cover. Um, this has got Sean Penn in a pretty similar role to the one that he played in Silent Hill. It's a British film, so is The Children. Um, it's set in Wales, and I think it's an art film a lot of people don't really like. Um, a really annoying mother and her really annoying daughter come over from the States to visit their estranged father, and the stupid little girl falls in the water and disappears. And everyone goes, yay, can we just end the movie now? But no, they have to search for her. She's so annoying. <laughs> no, she's a fictional character. She's not a real person. Just leave her leave her there. But no, they have to go after her. Um, so what ends up happening is this other little girl, and they don't have any decent pictures on this box, this other little girl who's that played by Abigail, she comes back and it turns out that she's been dead for 50 years and that she might want to um, bump off a few people so that she can get herself a new daddy and that's a 15 and then we've got Cronenberg's The Brood which is the ultimate evil child movie it's got the child in Pearl and it's got like a hundred evil children that are basically their mother's rage embodied uh, basically the story is there's a woman in a mental institute undergoing some radical new treatment about working through rage and anger and it's um, caused her to be odd so she's got all these little babies that have come out the inside of her and they're all going mental trying to kill people and then they go after her little daughter who is just so cute um, five year old Candy who is just, just the most adorable little girl ever um, and that's an 18 over here. And Oliver Reed is in it. I do like Oliver Reed. 